All right, so this is a story about how I learned how to beat my meat. All right, so this was back in, like, middle school. I was about 11, 12. I was 12, and I overheard a conversation with these kids, and they was, like, they was talking about how masturbation is the best feeling ever, bruh. So I'm just sitting there eavesdropping, and I guess they realized and heard me, and they were like, hey, yo. So I turned around like, huh? (laughs) I was scared because your boy got caught, you know? So they was like, come here. And you know what I did? I walked right on over to them like a little punk. They just They let me join in on the conversation. I ain't know what masturbation was. So, you know, I was just listening and nodding and taking in all the information. So after school, right, your boy got home and I immediately went to the bathroom because I was about to go ahead and try to figure this thing out. So I get in there and I start going ham on it. But nothing was happening and I I could not figure it out so you know I'm just messing with it tugging on it and whatnot eventually yeah I said forget this and I just I kind of gave up I ain't gonna lie I said screw it I'm done that's it (laughs) don't judge me but after that I kind of just like spit in my hand (laughs) and then I start messing with it because I because I noticed when my hand was dry it was kind of hurting when I was messing with it well this joint starting to burn so then, well, after I spit in my hand, I was like, hold up, whoa, okay, oh, oh, snap. After I figured out what to do, your boy bust. I ain't, look, look, I'm going to keep it a hundred, your boy bust. So after I figured out how to beat my meat, I was addicted, bro. I'll, I'll beat my meat day in, day out. Daytime, nighttime, morning time, evening time. If I want in school, I will be in my meat in the bathroom. I'm surprised my parents ain't say nothing to me about me being in the bathroom so much. Because I'm pretty sure they knew. Boy, but I was tearing my little thing up back then. Like, I knew I had a problem. But did I care? No. All I knew was your boy was feeling good. <laughs> so I kept doing it. I, I had got to the point to where I was beating my meat so much. My hand was going numb. I was beating my meat so much. I think I ran out of nut. Because I, I, I was finishing and nothing was coming out. Well, I was finishing. All you hear is... <laughs> it was like this air was coming out. Boy. My, my balls was empty. <laughs> but there was a couple things I learned about beating my meat, though. If you're going to beat your meat, make sure you got some lubrication, all right? Number two. If you in a shower or something and you decide to use soap, make sure it don't get in your pee hole, all right? Number three, and this is an important one, do not use toothpaste. It burns, bro. <laughs> Number four, don't use like one of your personal shirts or pants as a nut rag, all right? Especially if you're not going to get it washed no time soon, because you're going to forget and wear that junk to school one day, bro. Number five, never beat your meat with your meat aiming towards your face because when you done you gonna get water gun right in the face bro but i realized i ain't gonna lie i realized i had a problem with beating my meat when one day i'll beat my meat and i know i was on that jump for about an hour 30 minutes just going ham bro i mean everything was good until i finished because once i finished i realized i had some i had some raw meat on my meat if you know what i'm saying and it was burning like I could see pink meat because I was beating so hard I guess the friction from my hand rubbed the skin off my meat and after that I ain't gonna lie I slowed down a lot but if you like the video make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so I can give y'all some more story times when I upload I thank y'all for watching peace